Welcome to the U.S. Defense Line Channel. Russian military misunderstood Putin's decisions. With the withdrawal of the troops, Ukrainian army obtained a huge treasure. And this treasure is big enough to change the course of the war. While these events were taking place, Russian planes fired missiles at another warplane for the first time over the Black Sea. While Ukraine is continuing the war with Russia, Putin recently made a clear decision. The advance of Ukrainian army towards the city of Kherson and the victories on the Eastern Front caused Putin to take this decision. Putin declared martial law in all the lands he controlled to stop the advance of the Ukrainian army. After this decision, Ukraine continued its advance towards the city of Kherson. Russian authorities in the city of Kherson also began to evacuate citizens in the region. However, his military misunderstood Putin's order. Russian troops retreated to Kherson and on the Eastern Front. Yes, you heard it right. As a result of protracted conflicts, Russian soldiers hastily fled from some areas they barely controlled. Even during the escape, Russian soldiers left quite a lot of military equipment. On the southern and eastern fronts, Ukrainian army came to the regions where Russian army is currently collapsing. Kyiv government did not fully understand this situation at first. However, the situation that emerged took even President Zelensky by surprise. As a result of the withdrawal of Russian troops, Ukrainian troops advanced very comfortably in the areas. In the areas taken back by Ukrainian army, the equipment that Russians left and fled was seized. Many of the systems that Russia left were outdated. The use of Soviet-era equipment attracted a lot of attention. Kremlin government used a large number of weapons and vehicles from the former Soviet era in the war. In fact, 1980s radios were distributed to soldiers who had recently joined the Russian army due to mobilization. It is not clear whether the Russian armed forces knowingly uses obsolete equipment or whether its inventory is really exhausted. However, military experts seriously state that the Russian army does not have new types of equipment in its inventory, and there is very little left. The only confirmed information so far is that Russia has 40% of missiles left in its inventory. A large number of missiles have been used since the beginning of the war. Kremlin even fired on the wastelands of Kyiv. As a result of even unnecessary shootings, Moscow has started to pay the penalty for this right now. A blow to President Kremlin thus came from his soldiers to give his soldiers very little equipment. Because the Russian soldiers left a lot of equipment behind as they fled back from the region. Such a large number of equipment has now been seized by Ukrainian army. In addition, the fact that most of the seized systems were from the Soviet period made Ukraine happy because Ukrainian army can also use Soviet-type systems. According to the information shared by local sources, the Ukrainian army has seized nearly a thousand military vehicles. In the Kharkiv region and in the Kherson region, Kyiv administration made a profit. The systems that were handled only from these two regions were too many. Now, these new systems will replace the equipment lost by Ukrainian soldiers. However, there is another interesting phenomenon has emerged. Russian soldiers in the area seem to have decided that they can escape armored vehicles faster. Because seriously the Ukrainians captured a lot of ground equipment. It is really a matter of curiosity why Russian soldiers left so many vehicles. While it is not known how the Russian soldiers escaped from region, Kyiv is now bringing the treasures it has captured to safe areas. Russia, which is experiencing serious regression and losing land, especially around Kherson, has given a red alert in this city. General Sergei Surovikin, who was appointed head of Russia's forces in Ukraine, officially declared that Kherson was in a difficult situation. After this situation, General Sergei launched a new wave of attacks to boost the morale of his soldiers. A new attack on Ukraine's infrastructure has now begun through Belarus. The Russian army also wants to cut off Ukraine's electricity access completely, using a large number of missiles. In response, Ukrainian defense systems began to defend against Russian missiles. The Iris-T defense system, which Germany sent recently, was used for the first time in Kyiv. It hit the first unknown air target in the sky over Kyiv. He repelled the missile attack on Kyiv using both kamikaze drones and cruise missiles. Command of the armed forces of Ukraine has not yet made a statement on this matter. As a result of the attacks being carried out continuously through Belarus, Kyiv responded. 
Ukrainian Air Force began to constantly patrol over the borders of Belarus. The chairman of the Belarusian State Security Committee, Lt. Gen. Ivan Turtle, stated that the situation on the Ukrainian border is getting more and more difficult. Ivan claimed that because of these circumstances, Ukraine violated Belarusian airspace. Belarus was immediately cornered by a move by the Ukrainian Air Force. In fact, Ukraine wants to protect its own land. Belarus is also doing its best to help the Russian army. However, such a way was resorted to because the Russian army could not easily pass through the Belarusian borders. Belarusian lieutenant general claimed that the situation on the southern border is getting seriously difficult. Supposedly every day, the territory of Belarus is monitored by the Ukrainian intelligence services, and its airspace is violated for this. Using this situation as an excuse, Belarus is advancing 60,000 soldiers on its borders towards the Ukrainian border. While these situations were taking place, leading United States military experts officially stated the main target of the Kyiv government in the war. While the offensive of Ukrainian army continued, a remarkable statement came from the USA. United States advisor to the Ukrainian army announced the target of Kiev. According to Dan Rice, he said that Kiev wanted to reclaim all the land it had lost to Russia since 2014. According to Rice, Ukraine will refuse to negotiate with Russia and will insist on returning to its borders in 1991, the year the Soviet Union collapsed. In other words, returning to these borders will be Ukraine's only condition in a possible negotiation. According to the latest information, the Russian warplane opened fire on another plane over the Black Sea. Russian warplanes targeted unarmed British aircraft patrolling the Black Sea. The British Minister of Defense has officially said that the crisis between the two countries has reached its peak. While the Russian forces were cruising over the Black Sea, they locked and fired at the warplane flying in the sky. An unarmed aircraft of the British Royal Air Force, performing a routine patrol over the Black Sea, made an escape maneuver in the face of this situation. During the incident, a large number of warplanes were sent to the region. While it was being realized in radio conversations that the missile was launched from the Russian plane, the British warplane escaped from the missile. The British defense minister also stated that British planes were sent to the region. The Russian plane was surrounded by several British planes in the sky. During the events, the Russian and British defense ministries were contacted. A large number of warplanes surrounded the Russian plane, which was left alone. After the meeting of the defense ministries, it was revealed that the missile system of the Russian fighter jet malfunctioned. It was stated that he accidentally opened fire, and British warplanes accompanied the Russian plane. After the incident, the UK suspended patrols, and it turned out that the government conveyed its concerns to Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shigu. The Su-27 fighter officially opened fire, while the British fighter jet returned safely after evasive maneuvers. This is the first time Russia has opened fire on a plane in international airspace. Some analysts stated that the Russian plane was actually targeted by a Ukrainian warplane. It was also claimed that the British plane was targeted instead of the plane that fled from the area. However, the British Ministry of Defense stated the truth of the matter. The Russian warplane broke down and opened fire in international airspace. Britain then resumed patrols. In fact, the incident was described as potentially dangerous, but it was determined that it was not seen as an intentional escalation. As a result of its investigation, the British ministry officially admitted that there was a technical error. Elsewhere, it officially stated that the most powerful plane in United States crashed. Fighter plane F-35 officially crashed. A fifth-generation fighter jet crashed during a training flight in the U.S. state of Utah. The pilot managed to leave the fighter jet a few minutes before the fighter crashed to the ground and exploded. It turned out that the engine part of the fighter plane failed. We'll see what happens in the coming days. We have come to the end of another video. You can support us by liking the video. By subscribing, you can easily follow new videos. I wish you all happy days. See you.